Wimbledon faced both FA Cup finalists in the space of three days this week. Starting at Old Trafford on Monday, they needed Hans Sagers to use all of his know-how to deny Steve Bruce in the first half. United had rather less experience in their goal, with Jim Layton given the night off. 18-year-old Mark Bosnich was handed a senior debut and did everything that was asked of him, saving well here from Paul Miller. Alex Ferguson also rested Brian Robson, Brian McClare and Neil Webb with Wembley in mind. United as a whole looked as if their thoughts were elsewhere. It wasn't a great game. Russell Beardsmore created their best chances. Mark Hughes couldn't take this one. On Tuesday, Kenny Dalglish delighted the Liverpool fans by picking himself for the first time for two years. A substitute at the age of 39 against Derby. And it was only after his highly acclaimed arrival that Liverpool won the game. Gary Gillespie with nine minutes left. So Alan Hansen became a championship winner for the eighth time as Kenny Dalglish paid tribute to his entire squad. One. Well, two against two, and they've got Horn up, so Southampton indeed has three up. Played through for Horn. And a goal for Southampton. A classic break, supported superbly by Letizia, but a terrific run by Barry Horn. Taken by Winterburn, up towards Bowl, picked on by him. And they're claiming a penalty. A handball. As that floated across the Southampton penalty area. Let's have a good look at this one. They claim a handball by Ruddock there. So, Dixon, when it's all died down, can he score this equaliser now for Arsenal? 1-1! One, one. Groves. Flip wide towards Merson, played in now. Rocastle's in there. Rocastle! A birthday gift to the man who didn't start only as a substitute. But he's come on and he's proved the point. Jim Layton wrote the script for Wednesday's hammering. Not sure he wanted to read it though. The basic storyline was laid down by Gary Parker's blockbuster volley. Jim's attempts to keep out Stuart Pearce's curling free kick were ill-timed. Nice dive, shame about the post. But international goalkeepers are built to bounce back from bad mistakes and bad press. It's the bad bounces that are really hard to take. Nigel Clough piling on the agony. It didn't end there though, four is four up in 25 minutes. And if there are any budding young keepers looking in, watch Jim and ask yourself, is it really worth it? Steve Chettle was the scorer. Good luck to Jim at Wembley. He's Jim. Well Fashionu. Oh, he went in high there. And Thomas wasn't very pleased about it. And they're coming in from all angles here. Thomas being dragged away. And Fashionu will have to go into the book at the very least. Him. Still a chance, that's a good ball. Well, oh, Martin's missed it completely. Wise, brilliantly done. Oh, it didn't go in. Hit the bar. Lovely skills from Dennis Wise. Rocket it in. Here's Pardew. And again. And Bright! And Palace are in front. Mark Bright, the scorer. to get round the back Pardew and Wise and here we go again well it really doesn't warrant that sort of reaction Dennis Wise has stayed down Fashion and Pemberton having a go in the front there but uh, it's all got a little bit out of hand this what Bobby Gould makes of it 
Vishnu jumping. And that's come off court. Martin scurrying. He did very well indeed to keep that out. Would have been an extraordinary goal had it gone in.